SpaceX's cellular Starlink service is finally going beyond satellite text messaging. The technology can now send satellite data to some mobile apps. This includes powering video calls on WhatsApp and even live streaming on X. So how well does it work and is it fast? This past weekend, I tried out the service through T-Mobile, which also dubs the service T-Satellite. Hi, this is Michael Kahn with PC Mag, and we're out here one hour south of San Francisco in a cellular dead zone. As you can see, yeah, there's not much around. It's really beautiful though. So yeah, I've tested this. I've tested uh, the cellular Starlink before, but uh, they've recently added this ability to uh, send data to mobile apps. And for now, it's only on the Pixel 10 devices. And uh, we got access to a Pixel 10. As you can see, it's connected with uh, T-Mobile, uh, SpaceX. And let's check it out. Yeah, these are the apps that the T-Satellite data function supports. And as you can see, you can look up the weather now. And uh, let's see. San Francisco. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You got San Francisco. You can look it up. Try current location. Oh, yeah. That one came up fast. And you can do, um, see, uh, uh, do work. Let's try that one. Let's see what happens. And yeah, here it's taking a while. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the big question about this, this capability, how fast it is and if there's lag and... As you can see, there is um, some lag, but at the same time, it does work. And here, we're on X, or what we used to be called Twitter, and as you can see, yeah, it does, it does work, does load. Yeah, the pictures do take a while, but you do can load video which is really cool. The video is kind of grainy though. Um, yeah, it's, right now it's pretty low quality but I do get sound from it. Oh yeah, here's Starlink. Yeah. If you, do, if you uh, try to click on the link though, nothing will happen. It only supports data to the app, not the browser. But, uh, Pokemon is making an Animal yeah. Crossing like game. Maybe. Videos work. But again, there's lag. And uh, yeah, you can post. I've been posting some things from here. You can actually even go live, which is kind of cool, but it depends how good your connection is. Right now it's connecting. Okay, let's go live. Yeah, we're live now. But again, I think the quality is not going to be great when, you, when you're streaming and uploading. So... That's the trade-off, but it's still pretty cool. So you can stop it, stop broadcast, and... Let's see, edit. Yeah, right now it's kind of lagging, so... Okay, starting to let you edit. 
that I don't really want to. And let's see. Hmm. Well, yeah, maybe I didn't publish it. Not sure. Oh yeah, it was live. I think it did. Well, <laughs> that's Twitter. It does work. Now, let's go to WhatsApp. This is what a lot of people are curious about. What can you do with WhatsApp? Well, you can basically do everything. So, this phone here is connected to uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot through Verizon, and Verizon still has a connection here in this dead zone, but this phone is on T-Satellite. And, uh, yeah, people are wondering what you can do. So, if you text, hi, and, yeah, it pops up right there. You can say, yo, yeah, and it pops up. Now what about uh, calls? Let's try it. So, calling. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, now we're calling. So... Some echo. As you can see, the quality is pretty grainy, but not bad either. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> cool. You can also send pictures. But yeah, there's some little bit of lag. But yeah, it pops up. That was kind of fast. Nice. So, that's kind of an overview of what I've been testing today. And uh, yeah, it does work. This is another video call, but to a person on AT&T. You can see it freezes a bit, but then it improves. How is your day? <laughs> good. My day is free. Uh, good. It's good. Yeah, the quality is... Uh, okay. I will try calling you later then. Okay. Okay, it works though. It just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing that you can make calls. Yeah. Cool. Like something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at Tammy. Show another Tammy. about the dog Oh that's cool
<laughs> this is another test where I had published a video on Twitter, also known as X, and I later accessed it. I played it. As you can see, I'm downloading the video, and it plays over the two satellite phone. I am now live. Hello. Yeah, this is being filmed using the T satellite satellite uh, data function. So hopefully you can see me live. This is another test using Google Maps, one of the supported apps, except this time I wanted to use it under some trees. The signal quality isn't as great, but it still does work. But it's best to use T satellite under clear skies. The uh, trees seem to sometimes block the signal from the satellites, as you can see here with X. Hey, we found some dandelion. Touch them and they'll scatter in the air. Oh no, that creature is stuck. You can actually see your signal strength to the Starlink satellites by going to the right hand top corner and looking at the satellite icon. It'll show you how many bars you have. The problem is sometimes we had no signal and we weren't sure why even though we were under a clear sky. So when that happened, we just kind of had to wait there and hope for a signal to improve. And as you'll see here, we're trying to use Google Maps, but for some reason the, the data isn't loading because the, the signal quality isn't great. It's possible SpaceX still needs to launch more Starlink satellites in orbit to improve the coverage. Currently, they have over 650 cellular Starlink satellites in orbit. We were also curious how long you could do a WhatsApp call, and we found sometimes the call will drop and shut down or cancel, and that's probably due to the signal quality issue. Um, we did one call for three minutes and then it stopped and another for over six and then it stopped But then we did a third call that lasted for over 12 minutes before we voluntarily shut it down So you can hold a, a long call, but don't be surprised if it drops Yeah, the quality is all right It's kind of pausing and Unstable connection Despite the signal quality issue, it's pretty clear SpaceX's cellular Starlink could really make an impact in ending cellular dead zones. The ability to use WhatsApp, Google Maps, and even live stream and look at all your tweets is a huge upgrade from merely satellite texting. I hope this gave you a good overview of the new functionality. You can also read the article I wrote about my experience. Thanks for watching.